There are 12 days until I get to marry the man of my dreams, and I could not be more excited. I remember when we moved into the house in, Lan in Lancaster, she was a toddler, and she came to me one day and she said, Daddy, am I ever going to get married? And I said, well, honey, I hope so. When you find the man you love and someone you want to live the rest of your life with. And she said, Daddy, I love you. I like living with you. I'm going to marry someone just like you. So I remember at the time taking, thinking and saying, hmm, I wonder what that would look like. I guess now we know. We chose to get married at Ironstone Ranch because it's always been my dream to arrive at my ceremony in a horse-drawn carriage with my father. Also because Adam and I own a horse and always loved the idea of getting married on a horse farm. I was ready for a relationship when Adam and I met, but Adam on the other hand... I can honestly say that I was not ready for a relationship when Alicia and I met. I was very clear about this, however, she wanted it more than anything. Adam and I met through his buddy at Planet Fitness. My gym partner at the time introduced me to Alicia when he invited her to work out with us. I shook her hand, introduced myself, and we haven't seen my gym partner since. And well, it's been fate ever since. Oh, I'm ready. Never been so sure, quite so steady. I'm gonna live my life to keep the promises I made. Even though I make mistakes, I know I'm ready. Our first kiss was at Stony Park on a Sunday. I showed up right after church with my makeup done and dressed to impress. While Adam, on the other hand, was in gym shorts and a tank top ready to work out together. The only reason I remember it was on a Sunday is because I used to meet with friends on Sundays to play video games. We spent hours at the park and that's where he kissed me for the first time. Let's just say I was extremely late for that night for video games. The biggest obstacles we have faced were in the very beginning of our relationship. Due to Adam's previous relationship, his trust towards anyone had been completely voided. I spent a good two years proving myself to him and earning his trust one day at a time. Adam is the most loyal, loving, honest man I have ever met, and he will do anything for me, and his work ethic is beyond incredible. There were a couple obstacles that Alicia and I had to overcome. My trust issues became an overly persistent issue for Alicia. All she wanted to do was gain my trust, however it turned into coming on too strong too quick. Most couples have their honeymoon stage in the very beginning of their relationship. Alicia and I subconsciously decided to get our arguments out of the way in the early stages of our relationship. We're looking forward to the rest of our lives being in the honeymoon stage. Alicia's persistence and dedication caused me to fall in love. I had no trust in people whatsoever due to past experiences. Alicia made it her sole purpose to gain my trust. Adam proposed to me on Christmas Day of 2016. Put everything together, drove up on Thursday to my aunt's house, set everything up, and on Christmas Day, we had dinner at Alicia's parents beforehand. And I did not eat one thing. And anyone that knows me is, I eat. Um, I was completely blindsided. I had no idea it was coming. Uh, we went up to his aunt's house, we attempted to eat up there, but again, I couldn't eat. And then my aunt told everyone we're going outside for pictures. 
We took a family photo with my mom, dad, and Adam and myself, and then... My aunt was pretending to take a picture, and she told me to tie my shoe, which was the cue to get down on my knee. Everything was lit up and set up at that point. I don't know. You're going to look at me. <laughs> tie your shoe, please. He got down on one knee. So I got down on one knee, <laughs> and that's when it all happened. All I want for this Christmas and every Christmas to come is you, Alicia. I love you so much. Will you marry me? It was just fate from there. Um, I'll let you see the rest for yourself. Baby, I just wanted to say that I love you so much and I cannot wait to see you on our big day. Alicia, I can honestly say that you are a gift from God and I can't wait to see you on our wedding day. practice last night. That, that's Sorry. awesome. I had to keep something hidden you from you. You did. You did. When I see Adam for the first time on our wedding day, I will have butterflies in my stomach as I do now and will have tears of joy in my eyes because marrying him is truly my childhood fairy tale come to life. I can already picture what it's going to be like when I see Alicia on our wedding day. I actually drew a picture of this not too long after we met. Do you remember when you were a kid sitting in church and the pastor had that sermon that described heaven? How your soul would rise into the sky and enter the pearly white gates, the streets would be made of gold, and there would be mansions up on the hills. Then you would picture this angel floating on a cloud. 
She'd be smiling down at you with her gorgeous hair blowing in the wind. Bright rays of sunlight would be surrounding her perfect silhouette while the sounds of harps played in the background. Alicia is that angel. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Glad you're here. We've come together today at the invitation of Adam Walker and Alicia Houck and to share in the joy of their wedding. This out, outward celebration we shall see and hear is an expression of their inner love and devotion they have in their hearts. Jesus Christ reminds us that in the beginning God created us male and female. God loved us and created us to love others. Our lives find only completion. Think about this, as we love and are loved in return. Together, we can become what we could never become separately. Marriage is of God. Adam and Alicia come together, desiring to unite in this sacred relationship. Adam, I wanted you to take it and place it on her left hand, and I want you to repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And with all that I am, and with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Alicia, if you can f find the r <laughs> the ring. <laughs> uh, little private jokes from last night, but uh, I, I was right, wasn't I? <laughs> Alicia, I want you to place this on Adam's left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. You have come together this afternoon in this beautiful weather to express before God and express the desire to be husband and wife. You have chosen your love and affection and by joining hands and made promises of faith and devotion to each other. You have sealed these promises by giving and receiving a ring. I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife and may God bless you forever and keep you and give you peace. And what God has joined together, let not man separate. Adam, you don't need much practice on this one. You may now kiss your bride. Would you make welcome for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Adam Walker. Got a girl from the south side, got braids in her. First time I've seen her walk by. So sure, caught so steady. I'm gonna live my life to keep the promises I made. Even though I make mistakes, I know I'm ready. I found a heart that was just like mine. Yeah, I found a heart that was just like mine. It's the kind of love that can make you blind And I'd do anything to see him smile Oh, I'm ready I've never been so sure My fiancé treats me like a king, quite literally. I mean, I could ask her to fan me with a palm leaf and feed me grapes with no questions asked. On a serious note, I have learned that a woman requires unconditional love as much as a man needs the utmost respect. I love Alicia beyond a doubt, and in return, she shows me respect. It's the kind of love that understands He said he changed his life to be my man So he bought a ring and took my hand He said What really made me fall in love with Adam is the fact that he is so loyal and loving towards me and he is completely honest with me no matter what the situation he would do anything for me and his work ethic is beyond incredible he treats me as if I am the only woman on this earth 
Still to this day, after being together five and a half years, Adam makes me feel like a Disney princess, showering me with his unconditional love day in and day out. complement each other in the most perfect way. I could not happy, be happier for the two of them. With that said, let's raise our glasses and toast Adam and Alicia to many years of love and laughter. I love you. <laughs> Alicia, you're marrying a good guy. I wish you guys nothing but the best. I mean, Adam and my wife kind of begged me to write a speech out, but on a day like this, how beautiful it is, I mean, how could I really write a speech out for something that's so perfect today? Um, if I could give you guys any advice, just love one another. You know, love will get you guys through anything in life, and I wish you guys nothing but the best. And here's to Adam and Alicia. So, Adam, I can't say how much, how happy Sue and I are and honored to have you join our family and be our son-in-law. Your past service to your country, your current service to the people of Lancaster County, show your inclination to respect and duty and service and honor, and we know you love our daughter dearly. That's the best thing. We are so much in love with you. We are so happy for you that you found the man you love and the man you want to spend the rest of your life with. I would like to say that maybe I don't look like Adam Walker, but I would be honored to feel like I am like Adam Walker.
strange.